Hey, what's up y'all? Before we get started with this video, I got two quick announcements. One is that I've got Hydrotain gallons on sale for 20% off, biggest discount we've ever done. Summer's not over yet, plus you can use it for your fall seating. So Hydrotain, 20% off for a limited time. And we also have a new product called Biochar, and you're gonna wanna read the description of this one. It's biochar infused with chicken litter. Great soil amendment for any time. With that, let's get right into our video this week. Hey, what's up y'all? I'm Alan Hayne, the Lawn Care Nut. Thanks for coming back for yet another week. So the information I have to give to you today, I think it's actually needed and I think it's going to be something that will benefit a lot of you, but I've been kind of struggling with how to present it. So I think the easiest way to do that is to say it this way. When you go to the store to buy insect control for your lawn, you might be buying it for one purpose, but you actually might be getting some additional benefit out of it. And I want to show you how to discover that in today's video. So to make things easy here and to get the point across even quicker, I'm gonna break down insects in the lawn into two different loose categories. You have damaging pests and you have nuisance pests. Damaging pests are the ones that are actually gonna cause problems with your lawn. And this is why this came up because this time of year, I get a lot of people asking me, hey, what's causing these brown spots? And one thing that it could be are insects that damage the turf. For me during this time of the year, the two main pests that I've come in contact with are chinch bug and sod webworm. Both can cause damage that looks like brown spots in a lawn. Now, of course, whenever you do see brown spots, it's not always insects. I recommend you get down on your hands and knees and dig and look. And sometimes when you do that, you still won't come up with a definitive answer. And that's why the second category of insects or pests, the nuisance pests comes into play. Nuisance pests are pests that stop you from basically enjoying your lawn. Things like ants, fleas, ticks, mosquitoes. Those are nuisance pests. They're not gonna necessarily hurt the grass, but they definitely can hurt you and your use of the lawn, right? So when you're choosing an insect control, you have to know, am I targeting a damaging pest or a nuisance pest? And the truth is, 100% of the time you're gonna be targeting nuisance pests. In other words, if you're going after a problem in the lawn, like say, sod webworm, if you're also going to kill mosquitoes, ants, and fleas in the process, well, that's like a double win right there. You see, because for me, for example, I have a problem with sod webworm. See that one right there? I know that because I've confirmed it. So if I was to apply this product to kill the sod webworm, I'd also be getting some additional benefit on other turf damaging insects, but also on some of the nuisance pests at the same time. So to pick up what I'm putting down, I'm basically saying it's a great idea to apply an insect control to your lawn in the summer to cover you for both of those things. And if you have brown spots that happen to be being caused by one of these insects, well then by default, you'll end up killing it while also eliminating those nuisance pests all at the same time. Does that make sense? And that's why it's important to not only just look at what's on the package, but also to dig a little bit deeper onto the label to understand exactly the maximum benefit you're getting. For example, this one I picked up from Spectracide. I'll put the price on the, I'll put the price up there. This one, you can see they are thinking, well, we're gonna target ants. We think that if we put this on the shelf and we tell people it kills ants, that's gonna make us the most sales. And so you'll see they have dedicated 100% of their marketing space on their product to ants. Let me show you something interesting. This product here, this is a local product by Sunnyland. Hello, shout out to Lee Moore. This one, they have actually dedicated 100% of their bag space to chinch bug. Interestingly enough, nuisance pest, damaging pest, but you can see two different targets as far as marketing goes. But let me show you something else. Let's go down and look at the active ingredient. This product here that's telling you it kills chinch bug has the active ingredient Lambda Cyahalothrin, 0.04%. When we come over to this product here, the spectricide telling you that it's going after ants and we look at the active ingredient, look at that, it's exactly the same, Lambda Cyahalothrin, except this one is 0.1%, so quite a bit more concentration. Now we're not gonna get that deep into it when it comes to the actual concentrations of the active ingredients, because one's a 20 pound bag, one's a 10. It all works out in the wash the same way, and they're the same price. But in general, I just wanted to show you when it comes to the target, you can't just go by the marketing on the bag. You gotta kinda look at the active ingredient, but then also read deeper on the label, because they'll usually tell you. You can also turn the bag over, and you'll see all these other Las Pestas here. There's ants, army worm, cricket, cutworm, earwig, fleas, lawn, moths, green June beetles, leafhoppers, millipedes. I mean, 
th the list goes on and on and on and on. And sometimes the rates are a little bit different, but long and the short of it is, you can see there's there's a lot of nuisance pests in there that this controls, even though they're targeting chinch bug. And that's smart because this is mainly sold in Florida, and that is something that people in this market key in on, as well as ants, of course. But back on this bag, you'll see we got other stuff here. Ants, crickets, earwigs, fleas, millipedes, mites, palmetto bugs, roaches. And, um, you know, a little bit different application rates here. You can go all the way down to bill bug, chinch bug, grubs, uh, june beetles, hy hyperodes, weevils. I remember hyperodes, weevils went around the dorm in college. It was a bad couple days. So that's just one example to look for when you're going out to shop. Again, to reiterate here, if you think you have a damaging insect, go ahead and throw down the insect control because you're also gonna be taking care of nuisance pests so you don't have to feel any guilt about it. It's something you should be doing anyway. So I wanted to point out two more here real quick. This is actually interesting because these are both bio, bio advanced products that were in different parts of Lowe's. This one was outside, this one was inside, but I've actually featured both of these before. This is actually an excellent product for early in the season and I highly recommend it because you gotta get to the active ingredient here because it's got imidacloprid, and cyflutherin. So what this does is the imidacloprid will prevent grubs for a few months in the lawn or grub damage, as well as some other subsurface insects, possibly some control on mole cricket. But the other thing it will do is it will kill uh, insects that are above ground. So this is good for early in the season to give yourself some, some lasting control, but also to knock out nuisance pests right away or ants, you know, things like that. This one, on the other hand, this one is just a killer. It's trichlorphon, extremely a uh, popular 24-hour grub killer, but it'll also kill all these other insects in 24 hours. So this has no residual though, this does. So this one would be better early in the season, this one would be better now and on in later into the season. You could get into a lot deeper on these because they are about the same price, different size bags, different coverages, but that's all based on the different insects you're targeting. I don't want to get too deep into that with this. I just wanted to say, kind of interesting that we have that on the shelf. This one early, this one later. The last one I like to talk about is this spectricide. This is on shelves all throughout the country. This is one you just have to read a little bit more because this front label says kills on contact and season long control. So if you weren't to look at that very closely, you would think, oh, this product right here is similar to that one where it's gonna prevent and kill. But actually, because of the active ingredient here, which is gamma cyahalothrin, the season long control is only on ants. That's it. It doesn't do season-long control of grubs. And what happens is people see season-long control and they see a picture of a grub and they think, I'm good to go. Not the case. This will, however, kill on contact grubs, chinch bugs, ants, you know, mole crickets, things like that. But then it'll see the star, see the little star right there? Season-long control against ants. Thing about that is, as far as I'm concerned, if you're trying to kill grubs, mole crickets, chinch bugs, Trichlorphorin is a much better product, a much better control, and you're gonna it's gonna do a little bit better. Just my opinion. So there you go, y'all. There's some advice on insect control for the lawn. Overall, my goal here was to get you to actually look at something past the marketing and start reading the label and understanding a little bit deeper about what you're applying. Because again, in some cases, you can actually get a couple of things done with one application. In this case, we can kill damaging and we can kill damaging insects as well as nuisance pests all at the same time. So with that, I hope this video has been helpful to you. I hope you've learned a couple two-tree things. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the lawn.